Um, I have a question um, concerning uh, earlier on during your lecture you talked about propagation of Islam being um, an obligation on every single Muslim. But being youth, we have um, restrictions to which um, we can propagate the deen because um, restrictions are set on our MSS and for some of us, not everyone here, but for some of us here we have restrictions with which we can propagate the deen or have Islamic events in our schools, in our universities. So I would like you to like advise the Muslim youth on how um, on strategies and ways in which we can propagate the deen in a um, larger way, in the broader way. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Inshallah we will, we will uh, perhaps address this matter uh, in, in, in a talk on its own, you know, the matter of propagation. I have spoken about it in the past in entire lectures and I'm sure others have addressed it as well. But in a nutshell, uh, uh, you know, respecting the fact that you have raised this issue. Every one of us has to give whatever we have. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, anni wa law aya. Even if you have one verse, convey it. Give it to someone. Don't keep it to yourself. And the beauty is when you convey it, you get a full reward of anyone who practiced upon it. Some of them might practice upon it better than you can or you did. So we need to convey. Today I feel that the restrictions are only a matter of how you look at it. Because what did I do on my phone here now? Do you know? I was not being rude. I walked off. When I stood there, I put my phone on record. I have an MP3 recorder, high quality, which I paid for on, on Google Store. I recorded my talk. As soon as it was recorded and done, while I was walking to the seat, I was uploading it onto the internet. While I'm sitting here, it will be pushed up. Before you know it, it will be on the app. It will arrive at your phone if you're interested in it. The application, Muslim Central, it's called, it's Muslim Central, if you look at it in, in Google, uh, in, what's it called, if you look at it at the, the, the Play Store, Muslim Central and they will have a Mufti main app, made by Mufti, uh, Muslim Central. This talk will be pushed up in a few minutes, on today, and if you refresh it, it will come. The same I did yesterday. So I'm doing Da'wah and I've tried to reach maximum number of people. I will reach people who are not Muslim, people who hate me, people who like me, who, no matter who, no matter what, and I have no restriction. That this is what it is, but it's hard work over the years, it's developed. So, use whatever is at your disposal to present a good message. Some of us have more access than others, alhamdulillah. So, I no longer need to come all the way here to talk to you. I can speak to you while I'm at home. You know, I can speak to people across the globe while we're at home. It's a gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if we feel we are physically restricted, yes, there may be rules and laws that we need to abide by. You know, uh, I always admire the way the Jehovah's Witnesses preach and the dedication they have. It's just one example. I'm not saying I agree with the system, but there's a certain part of it that, that I have learned a lesson from. That's what I'm saying. They would knock at every single door and they will fly in from different countries of the world and they will knock in and they will say, we want to speak about Jesus or we want to speak about this or we want to show you salvation or whatever. Do you, do you have five minutes of your time? And they will present. I remember I had someone who visited me very recently and they came from Brazil all the way to Zimbabwe, knocking, knocking, knocking. And you know, I, I told them, oh, come in, come in, because I know, hey, these people have arrived at the wrong home. But anyway, I said, come, come, let's sit down, you know, have a seat, come, have a seat. Would you like tea? Would you like coffee? No, we want to speak about this and that. And anyway, then I began a discussion with them and I had my points in my mind. And, you know, there were these three people who said, look, we need to go back and research the answers and we'll come back to you next week. Next week never came. <laughs> but the truth is, they told me that the Muslims that we've knocked the doors of, they've always been very, very rude. They've told us, sworn us, some of them, you don't ever, you know, you don't need to swear someone. If you want to say, look, brother, I don't really have the time. Thank you for coming and thank you so much. You can go to someone else. And you close the door. Instead of swearing them, you know, nowadays, swear words have become so cheap that they are like pepper and spice in our food, really. Without them, we don't, we don't like life, especially the young generation. People want to say, you know, where, 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 it's just, it's just, 
Subhanallah. Even the microphone has to sit. <laughs> but I hope you get the gist of it. The, the point I'm raising is you might have physical restrictions, but look, other people go door to door, door to door. We might not be able to go door to door because it's different. You know, to be honest, for Christians to do that is fine. The minute a Muslim does it, you will be labeled some very big name, so be careful. That's how it is. But by right, go out if you want, print pa pamphlets, stand at the traffic lights and keep the pamphlet. Whatever's allowed in your situation. In my country, you're allowed to do that. Stand at the traffic light and distribute papers, distribute DVDs, CDs, give things out. They're doing it. Others are doing it. You may. So whatever you're allowed to do, whatever you can do physically, go for it. Virtually, there are basically very few limits. Very, very few limits. You can actually reach anywhere and everywhere. Allah knows best. تذكر يوما كنت تعانق دمعة الفكر تناجي الله في صبر وترجو رحمة تسكر